If you need an EA to pass any prop firm challenge then we have them, and they work. See the link in the description below this video, now let's get started. Today I'm going to give you a trading system that works perfectly for the futures markets. Just before we start today, if you've got a particular indicator or strategy that you would like me to make a video on then just drop it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get it done for you. I'm currently releasing strategy videos every day of the week, so if you subscribe to the channel you'll be among the first to be notified each time a new strategy video goes live. Also please like and share the video and give the bell a ring as it will help the YouTube algorithm. Let's jump into today's new system, which is going to allow you to take between 5 and 6 trades a day and it's got incredible potential. As you can see on screen it turned $1,000 into over $70,000 in just 30 days and all it needed was 100 trades and an account with a 10x leverage. I'm going to build the system up for you from the ground up and we will only be using two indicators in this strategy. Please don't try and skip through to the end because there's a particular twist in this strategy that needs explaining and fully understanding. And if you don't get it right then the strategy will not work. So please pay close attention to the indicator settings that I'm going to be going through with you. So we start putting the system together firstly by changing our standard candles to the Heikinashi candles. And if you've never used them before then you'll see that they make it much easier to block out the noise in the markets and allow you to see trends much more clearly. When the market is making a strong move upwards there are two things that we want to take notice of in the Heikinashi candles. The first thing is to take close attention when you see a large green candle on the chart because with Heikinashi candles this represents a very bullish period of trading. Secondly the most bullish thing that you can see on Heikinashi candles is no wick coming out of the bottom of the candle itself. When you see this then this is a sign of a very bullish move. If the market is in a downward trend then our interest is peaked when we see a large red candle. Especially when the candle in question has got no wick coming out of the top of the candle as it tells us that the bearish move is very strong. Ok now that you've got a basic understanding of Heikinashi and how to spot a strong trend let's move across to trading view and put on the first of the indicators that we're going to need which is the exponential moving average. There's just two simple changes that you need to do with this indicator. Firstly change the length of the exponential moving average to 200 and secondly change the color to blue, and you may also want to thicken the line a little more to make it easier to see on your chart. Let me show you why the 200 period exponential moving average is so important in trading. Take a look at this chart here and notice as soon as price action breaks through the 200 EMA, the indicator starts to provide support to the move every time the market makes a slight pullback downwards as you can see on screen. You can see that many times price action actually comes and touches the 200 period exponential moving average before just bouncing off it, continuing its upward momentum. You can see the same thing happening when the market is in a bearish trend. And as soon as price breaks through and establishes the trend the 200 period exponential moving average begins to act as a resistance area rejecting price many times as it comes to challenge the resistance zone. The way that the system works is that we're going to be taking long trades whenever the price action is trading above the 200 period exponential moving average, and to enter a short trade we will only do so when the 200 period exponential moving average is above price action, and price action is moving downwards underneath the exponential moving average. The second indicator that we're going to bring into the strategy is the stochastic relative strength index, so just head across to trading view and search for it and bring it onto your chart as you can see in the video. The stochastic RSI is one of the most accurate and respected technical analysis indicators, and it's public knowledge that institutional traders have been using it for many years to help them decide on their trading decisions, as it can accurately predict entry and exit points, as well as times when a market is about to make a trend reversal. So let's now go into the settings and get the stochastic RSI set up ready to trade our strategy. The first thing I want you to do is untick the background because we don't need to see it on our charts. Now let's edit the upper bands and the lower bands, Change the color of them to white and instead of having them showing as a line change them to a dotted line, but make sure to leave the settings at 80 and 20. Next I want the percent %K and the percent %D lines to be more visible on the chart so edit the settings and make the line of both of them a little bit thicker. But please do not change the default values as we want them to stay at the standard default of 3, 3, 14 and 14. Ok let me run through the basics of the stochastic RSI. First of all we've got the blue line that you see on the screen going upwards and downwards and this is known as the percent %K line. The orange line that you can see more or less following the blue line is known as our percent %D line. You can also see that we've got two dotted lines at the top and bottom of this indicator and these two lines basically tell us when the stochastic RSI is moving into an overbought area as you can see at the top, and an oversold area that you can see when the indicator crosses the white dotted line at the bottom. 
From a trading perspective the way that we interpret this is that when the indicator is moving above the upper dotted line then our opinion of the market is that it is currently overbought. And when the indicator is trading beneath the bottom white dotted line then for trading purposes our stance is that the market is in an oversold position. So to use this strategy we first of all need to identify whether the market is moving up or down. And we're going to use the 200 period exponential moving average to tell us that. So in order to enter a long position we need to find an asset which is currently trading above the 200 period exponential moving average. And if the asset that we are currently analyzing is trading underneath the 200 period exponential moving average then the only direction that we would be looking to take a trade will be a short trade. Now let me give you the exact rules for entering a long trade. First of all wait for price action to make a solid move through and upwards of the 200 period exponential moving average. When you see this you simply need to wait for the stochastic RSI to come back down and enter the oversold zone. To enter a trade simply wait for the blue line to cross the orange line and for price action to confirm a move upwards with a bullish closing bar which has a bigger range than the bar before it. Use a stop loss of 1.5% of your account and set your take profit target to 3% of your account. And as you can see in this example this was a very easy trade that went straight to take profit. Take a look at this second trade where you see price action come and test the 200 period exponential moving average again. So all we wait for is the stochastic RSI to enter an oversold area and then we wait for the blue line to cross the orange line. And our entry bar is confirmed when we see a bullish Heikinashi bar closing back above the exponential moving average. Use the same 1.5% stop loss and go for 3% take profit target. And again because of the bullish momentum of the market the profit target was reached quite easily. So as you can see you don't need many trades with this system in any trading day. In an uptrend just wait for the stochastic RSI to become oversold and then enter when you see a cross of the two lines and the bullish Heikinashi candle and use the same stop loss and take profit every time. When the market is in a downtrend and the price is trading underneath the 200 period exponential moving average just wait again for the stochastic RSI to get into an overbought position and then when the blue line crosses down through the orange line. Wait for a strong bearish Heikinashi candle to close before risking a 1.5% on a short trade going for 3% profit. As you can see because of the confluences that we're using to enter trades the win rate is very high. Take a look at this trade simulator which will show you what would happen starting with just $100 using an average win rate of just 65% with this system. Risking 1.5% on your stop loss and targeting 3% profit. All you would need is an account with 10x leverage. And if you were taking 100 trades throughout the month, then by compounding your account as it grows you would be up over $72,000 by the end of month 1. This may seem a lot, but this is how system trading works. All it is down to is discipline guys, nothing else. Head across to TradingView and test this one out and you might be very pleasantly surprised. Just make sure that you stick to the rules and don't enter a trade just because you want to be in a trade. Only enter a trade because you see that it's got a very high chance of winning. Thanks for taking the time to watch, please subscribe to the channel so that you get tomorrow's video sent straight to your inbox. And if you have any questions drop them beneath the video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until tomorrow guys, safe trading.